OK, so let's just take an equation of a circle. So here's one, x minus 3 squared plus y plus 1 squared equals 1. So this is the circle centred at 3 minus 1 with radius 1. Now, this is the general form for a circle, for the equation of a circle. But, of course, you could write this in a different way. If I multiplied out all the brackets, then let's see what we could write it as. So we would have x squared um, minus 6x plus 9. That's the first bracket. And then the second bracket will be y squared plus 2y plus 1. And then we've still got the 1 on the right-hand side. So if we tidy this up, uh, we might want to group the x squared... Well, let's leave the x's with where they are for the moment. And the y squared plus 2y. 9 and 1 is 10. Take the 1. So 1's cancel effectively. So we've got plus 9. Something like that. Now you could, of course, group the squareds together if you like. OK. So now what we've ended up with is something that is pretty unrecognisable from what we started with. OK? And from that, we're not really able to tell what is the centre and what is the radius of this circle. OK? So it's not really in the form that is of most use to us. But sometimes, that's what we can be given. So, what happens if... We have this equation, and I want to know what the centre and the radius of the circle is. How do I get back to that? Because let's imagine that the information is lost. Okay, What is the centre and radius of this circle? Now, the process of doing this is actually from using completing the square okay, and using that twice. So really what I want to do is if I group the x's together and I group the y's together, then I can consider the x's and the y's separately and complete the square for both of them. That will put them back into brackets for me. So the x squared minus 6x, I can complete the square and write that as x minus half the 6, so 3 squared, take away the minus 3 squared, so minus 9. So that's from the first bit. Then I've got the second bit, so the y squared plus 2y, so y plus half of 2, so 1 squared, take away that number squared, so take away 1. So that's the second bit, and I've still got that plus 9 on the end. So now... That minus 9 and that 9, they cancel. And that minus 1 can be taken over the other side and become positive 1. And I return to the general form that I need in order to read off that the centre is at 3 minus 1 and the radius is 1. OK? This process of going from an equation of this form to this form Okay, it's important to know how to do that to make sure that you can read off the central radius of a circle when the equation is given to you in that form.